everybody and welcome back to another episode of Atomic Heart. We're going to continue where we left off last time. Which was in this dungeon during the story progress. Look, and right off the bat we got a little telltale. Two telltales. Wait, please. I don't want you here. These guys are still paying the butt if you mess up and not pay much attention. Okay, I hear you, but I don't see you. Oh, there you are. <clears throat> Give us the goodies. Where'd you go on that side? I know. Don't want what you're selling. How did I miss with that? There we go. <clears throat> Thirty more. Hopefully that's the last of them. I hear a bot. <laughs> That's right, take your blast back. <laughs> I don't want it. And you're down. Oh. Good Lord, how many is in that little thing? Oh, can it smell? Cause like I'm wasn't even sure what we picked up here. We drink the milk. We can use one of those at least. We don't want to go through there yet. We want to look around. <clears throat> Is there another thing in here that spawns those guys? Oh, crap. How did it ever come to this? Collective schmolective. You don't have a thing on your head. How are you talking? Shit creek without a paddle now. This sucks. I thought they had to have one of those uh thought things connected to their heads. Hey, 
Hey, there had to be a chest in here. Two chests. Sure, I can't open that door, can I? How come you didn't show up? Okay, we got a lot of ammunition. That's nice. I'm sorry, what? Unreal boxes. We get up here? Where are you going? Jump up here. Now how the heck did I get up there so easy the first time? I don't know if we can get up there or not, but definitely give it a try. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. Hi, everybody. My name's Sergey, and I hear a voice. Coming out of my left hand. Your behavior is counterproductive, Major. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I'm just blowing off steam. It was kind of funny, you know? I think we found like a tiny little Easter egg. Oh, okay. Now the box is blown apart. Oh, and a puzzle right off the bat. Well, a lock, but not a puzzle. Hello? Oh, this is fucked. Such an off is a decent guy. How could he let this happen? An army of bots, killer mutants, thousands of innocent victims. No matter how you slice it, the facility's to blame. Even without Petrov, this place has issues. To say nothing of Collective 2.0. Seriously, I gotta wrap this up and retire. Maybe even get married. Oh, sorry. Ah, fuck that. Your negative brain activity is generating unpleasant artifacts in my code. I told you to stay out of my head, Charles. Get to work. Set me a fucking waypoint, damn it. Oh, he sounds angry with the hand robot. Oh, save point. Absolutely. Fading data. Oh! Maybe these little flying rocket bots. <coughs> Might be a value. Help! You guys... Help me! I'm dying! I've got bad news for you, comrade. Don't talk nonsense! Can't you see I'm bleeding out? This complex is full of medical supplies. Just get me a first aid kit. I'm a doctor. I'll be able to help myself. Uh... So how long have you been bleeding out? Just a... For a while, I guess. It must have been an hour or so. Are you just going to stand there until I bleed to death? Help! Help me! I'm dying! I've got bad news for you, comrade. Don't talk nonsense. Can't you see I'm bleeding out? This complex is full of medical supplies. I'll be polite if she's Just already dead. Just give me a first aid kit. I'm a doctor. I'll be able to help myself. You're dead. And you've been dead for quite some time. I'm sorry, but nobody can help you now. What? What are you talking about? 
about, you idiot? Help me! A person is dying here! Well, we try to help her, but she ain't listening. We could get some free loot. Ah, uh, not more locks. Dang it. Alright, I'll be right back as soon as I get these completed. Alright, we got them both done. <clears throat> one of them was uh, matched to the collars, another one was the timer. That wasn't too bad, other than the collar one, because I hate those ones. You're not gonna throw it at me, are you? That's gonna hurt. Lord, this bunker is huge. I mean, the first one we was in was definitely a lot longer. It was like half the game. I felt like we was in that thing. Look at the size of that fucking thing. What is it? The experiments here involve the creation of neuropolymer endoskeletons for various animals. The goal is to allow them to live in hostile conditions on the outer planets of the solar system. Endoskeletons. That thing isn't going to attack us, is it? It's huge. The specimens here currently lack any neuropolymer brain tissue structure. They are nothing but polymer bodies at this time. They cannot move. Still, they're freaking massive. Are they for planets with low gravity? Some are, while others are for planets with high gravity. Research is being conducted for all scenarios. In one of the vats, you can even see attempts to breed an organism capable of living in the oceans of Jupiter. Now this thing, maybe? Uh, one of the guys had a watch, didn't he? Go grab it real quick. I'm quite curious what it says. We had to take Bikov out. The damn janitor started shooting up the lab. It's a good thing the corrections team got there in time. He left a whole bunch of safes in there. Whose music box is this? Uh, what is that? Is that a bowl? Looks like a bowl. <clears throat> and a nice little save point for us. Ooh, actually, I should have enough stuff to upgrade my, uh, energy slot, so I shall be right back. And we're back. I only got one more upgrade for my energy slot, and I'll be maxed out. Oh, achievement. Has bad written all over. <clears throat> hmm. I never expected to see Victor like this in these circumstances. Hmm. We used to be thick as thieves. You know? But Victor made too many bad calls. Now look at him. Thanks to Dr. Sechenov's brilliance. We don't have to lose all of Petrov's knowledge. Oh, it's his girlfriend. She has a life. We'll be able to return the robots to their previous state once the simulation is complete. He's already dead, complete. you creep! Keep your hands off him! Grenade! Yeah.
that is that that living uh, human blood thing? Establishing connection. The professor says you haven't slept in three days. I don't wanna. Sleeping pills. Bottle of vodka. Why not both at the same time, huh? You know I don't like that stuff. My brain's a fortress. You know, when I was a boy, my brother was scared of the dark. So my mother left a light on. It helped him. Oh, that's... I hated it. The light thing. interfered with my imagination. I didn't like children's books for the same reason. All those colorful pictures. They were real. Exactly. The books in my father's library were interesting. History. Medicine. Theoretical physics. Science doesn't try to make the world safer or prettier. It doesn't lie to us. What the hell? It just gives us the facts. Okay. So, I knew what I had to train for. And I made another discovery. A monster in the dark behaves predictably. It can be studied. A monster in the light wears a mask and is therefore unpredictable. Which makes it dangerous. Very much so. Moreover, the light is what makes us monsters. Do you understand, my boy? More or less. May I turn out the light? Yeah. Reconstructing illumination. Hmm, I don't know which way to go. Well, my dreams aren't like this. That must be the ugly version of Toad. I wonder what's going in the going on in the real world around my guy. Excuse me, sir. Could you tell me how to get to the exit door? Seem to be lost. Oh, hello, chicken. The last time I looked at those TVs, I got copyrighted for looking at them too long. I just messed up. Oh! Um. How the heck do I get... Oh, okay, I can just walk across. Oh, that's really messing with you. Where are you, my love? Come to me. Bring him in the face. I was gonna fall. Um, where do I? Oh, okay. Find me, my Ooh. love. Find me.
Oh, well. Son of a bitch. What the? Charles, where's Larissa? She hid before the explosion. So what happened to Stuck? <clears throat> Stuckhausen was knocked into a vat of polymer by the explosion and is now deceased. You hypocrite. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. Huh. Some doctor you are, you grenade-tossing bitch. Petrov and Falatova are cut from the same cloth. There can be no doubt about that. Whatever. We gotta find a way out. Where are the two... Uh, Ballerina twins go? Is there a chest there by any chance? I know, I'm sorry, I can't help myself. I can't go that way, okay. This way. You can see that door. Hopefully there's uh, no music and just them talking. Major, you alive? No, I got killed by a grenade. I'm so sorry that happened. I didn't want any of this, but none of it matters right now. So what does matter, you crispy-ass critter? We have to meet. You need to see this with your own eyes. I'll show you everything. What do you mean by everything? You trust Sechenov too much, but he's keeping you in the dark. You have no idea what's really going on. You need to see it with your own eyes or you're not gonna believe it. You got that right. I have no fucking idea what's going on. You will understand when you see it. I have proof. I'll be waiting in the Academy of Consequences. The entrance is inside the lighthouse. Trust nobody. I don't. Alrighty, and we're back. Uh, da 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 da. Save point? Save point. Okay. I'm glad you guys were able to listen to some of that, and hopefully Comrade Major, with them yeah. talk. I must insist that you destroy the beta connectors. Why do you have a bug up your ass about those rings, Charles? You said you would make a decision about the rings when the time was right. The time is now. I don't have time for this. Yes, you do, Comrade Major. Otherwise, it will be too late. Fuck off already, Charles. There are bodies everywhere. A crazy doctor with a grenade killed Stock, and the only way out of this is through a wall of bots. Who the fuck cares about the damn rings? Stop calling them rings, Major. You need to learn to think before you speak, not after. They are beta connectors, and they will enable two robot assassins to be free of any control other than that of their bloodthirsty master. Do you want more deaths on your conscience? What bloodthirsty master are you talking about? I've got the rings, and I'm not gonna put them on any fucking robots. And how long will they remain in your possession, Major? As long as I'm still breathing, and there's still time left. Time's up. <clears throat> the procedure for assimilating Petrov's head has begun. Sechenov will return the robots to their normal state, and then he will recall you. When you return, he will take the rings. Fuck, why? All items in your possession are recorded in my log. I cannot erase it. Only Sechenov has access. The first thing he will do is review the log. He wants the beta connectors. Apparently everybody wants them. Why? Does everybody want personal bot assassins? Think, Major. Who has asked you about the beta connectors? Sechenov with his metal twins? Stockhausen, Sechenov's right-hand lickspittle? Granny Zena, a secret double agent whose affiliation remains completely unknown. Oh, shit. Or would you like to fulfill Petrov's dying wish and give Falatova the connectors? What the hell is going on? Am I the only sane person here? As you can see, we are the only options. Whoever gets their hands on the beta connectors, the results will be the same. More blood, more death. The rings must be destroyed before it's too late. It isn't too late, Charles. Not yet. I think the robot in his hand is more correct than, uh... What's my guy's name? P3, I think? But sorry about that. I didn't want to run out of the area and then quit talking, because I seem to mess that up a lot. Oh, damn it. Alright, those things are a pain in the butt. God, I hate those. Um, so where do we need to go to? Because I don't want to... Is that the last place? Oh, it's right here beside of us then. Good, because I was wanting to do the last one before we, uh... Continued on with the campaign. Oh, story mode. 
How come you don't attack, but you're freaking all the other ones do? Makes no sense. Excuse me, I need to save because I don't want to unlock that annoying door again. What do we have that we don't need on us? Don't need that. Don't need that or that. Okay. Nope. Uh. Yes. Saving data. Is that? Down over the hill here? <laughs> Do we have to call that down to get to that? I be oh. Up on the roof of that. Um, so how do we get up there? Oh, come on, let's climb up on top of that now. Hmm. Alright, instead of making you guys set through while I try to figure this out, I shall be right back as soon as I get up there. And we're up here finally. Which I think I cheated my way, if I'm going to be honest. That's okay. There's a bubble chest up here. These are very lovely. See chest. Now the only problem is how to get down to this area. Oh. Alright, there's a little path. Heck yeah. I really want to get the new Resident Evil 4 remake, but I gotta wait till payday to get it. Guess I got can't swim. Wait, we forgot about that. Oh, yeah, because we've swum in the sewages before just to get into the building. Why am I so forgetful? That. You stay dead, please. We even almost forgot about this. Oh, hello. We are going to call that one thing down. So we can zip line across. Hmm. 
No, no, grab. Well, hopefully this is correct. I think we found a big old chest. Where is our entrance? Oh, it's behind of us. Okay. Behind of us, so... You're half the man you was. How the hell do I get? I think my question has been answered. Hey! Awesome. Click. Alright, we'll be right back as soon as we get down to the ground floor. Alrighty, and we're back. Hey. Okay. What the hell? Man, you had a very awful job, didn't you? Or a very lonely job, because you're probably the one to put those all in there like that. Nasty man. Or lonely nasty, nasty man. This way? I just seen a thing in the bubble here. Where that goes to? Anything down there that I need to get to? That's it. That goes. <gasps> oh, yay! More locks. Great. Wonderful. Thank God, those are over. I really, really hate the locks. Yeah, there's nothing down there. That's what pervs do. What? <laughs> All this. Okay, I get what you're saying now. Nice. Oh, your chest. Oh, oh no! Oh, I don't know. Chase me. I don't. I don't know. Hello there. Oh, you again? Hello, Tubby. Great nerve. Robot fight. 
Fucking tin man. Take one big old supercharge for me. Whew! That was a lot of fighting. Hey, there you are. Hey, we got the... Oh, the... Out of the gun, I guess? Ah, there it is. Ooh, and the Fat Boy Revolver load. Okay, so we got one chest that's way down below. Where's that saber room at again? In here. Wait not to go grab it again and maybe forget about it. Oh my. Thank you. other side of this door. Oh, an absolutely horrendous puzzle. Alright, and we made it through it, thank goodness. That was a pain in the butt. Not nearly as hard as that one with the four different chambers. Good lord, that was just way too aggravating. A golden one. Oh, I think we got all of them. Electro energy. Oh, okay, didn't want to read it anyways. Let's do some upgrading real quick. And we're back. I uh, pretty much maxed out our machine gun. I put the muzzle brake on it. Uh, shotgun has two more upgrades left. This is maxed out. I okay, we should have checked for ammo. But this has got the revolver rounds in it now. I how it's got three, two extra rounds. But... Well, that's going to be real nice. Oh yeah, and this gives us health for every enemy killed. And the saw blades go quicker and quicker for every enemy killed as well. Fading data. Let's get out of here. Ooh. Well, that's all these was here. Holy moly. These are lovely. Sorry, open. Alright, and to the top we go. Alrighty, and we made it to the top of the ground again. Oh, no, not you. We're playing for around an hour, but we're gonna make this episode a little bit longer. As soon as I get done recording, I gotta go to work. See how well these, uh, ooh, no, I wanna see how well this works. I missed the smell. Oh, those are nice. Very nice indeed. And our target is all the way over there. I don't think it'll take us long to get to it. Just a little bit of running. It'll be like a boss fight. Here's her. Oh!
Oh. That crazy ass pump thing killed that whale. Damn. The dewdrop is the latest design in the field. Took a lot of bullets. Nice to give me a path up to the lighthouse. Oh, that's that polymer stuff come out of it. Let's have a take your inside, do you? I don't think we have any rockets left. Nope, we used them all up on S. Good thing we grabbed them. You gonna... There you go. That was a cool fight, though. Whoa, that thing was dangerous. I didn't know if I could handle it. And there are much more powerful robots out there. Real combat robots are far deadlier. There aren't any combat bots here. Not yet. But once Collective launches, they will be everywhere. And two of them will be equipped with beta connectors. Do you have any idea how much blood will be spilled because of one person's private ambitions? You and the rings are driving me nuts. When are you assholes gonna stop trying to pull my strings? Done. Happy now? Good decision, Comrade Major. I have no doubt that it saved lives. Perhaps many more than I can imagine. Let's hope so. That's probably the best choice he's ever made. <gasps> There's no chest down there by any chance, was there? Is that a blue, like, is that a blue back well, or what is that? Doesn't look like a blue back well. Hmm. Oh my. Crap, what a surprise. Why'd they freeze up? The access code has been successfully extracted from Petrov's neuropolymer memory. Combat mode has been disabled, and the robots have returned to their normal status. Well done, my boy. Everyone who was able to hide and survive owes you their lives. You've done me proud. Thank you, sir. What now? Come back to Chelome, get a checkup, and take some leave. You've earned it. I'll deal with the fallout from this mess. Roger that. I'm on my way. You didn't tell Sechenov about Philoctopa. Are you still planning to meet with her? I want to see this evidence she says is so important. Dr. Sechenov isn't going to like it, you know. So don't tell him. <laughs> well darn, we can't cheat our way up there. That's okay. If there's a chance for loot, you always gotta take it. I'm gonna get unstuck. Think we should there head upstairs? A lighthouse, huh? So where is she? Larissa! Freaking critters, you around here somewhere? I do not detect anyone in the vicinity. Let's take a look around. She's gotta be here. Do you trust Dr. Falatova? I don't trust anyone. 
But she's got something important to tell me. And I'm sure Dr. Sechenov is hiding something. Has Dr. Sechenov ever told you about his plans? <clears throat> Not really. I mean, he's never really had to, but now this whole thing with Petrov, Jellyman killed Stock, and the boss didn't even bat an eye. Is the launch of Collective really so important he can't even delay it out of respect for the dead? I have no data on this topic, Comrade Major. No data, huh? Well, I don't have any data either. So let's go get some. How far is the way over to that over there? Ooh, watch. Ah, when they told me that my, my, my lighthouse was gonna be ripped out of the ground and brought from Sakhalin to Kazakhstan by the robots, well, I figured they were drunk. Huh, but nope. It's thousands of kilometers away from the ocean now. Like a museum exhibit. And I'm here too, like another exhibit. Now sure, I got a raise. Sure, I barely have to do any work. The machines, machines do everything. The lighthouse and I are just a confirmation that humanity can do whatever it wants. But, but what the fuck are they guarding with all those flying guns everywhere, huh? A lot of apples over there. Don't get me in trouble, TV. Please don't. Oh, crispy critters! I believe that the unscheduled acceleration was caused by the elevator access system being hacked. Otherwise, Dr. Falatova would not have been able to initiate it. Ah, so she hacked the system. Kind of like how all these poor bastards got hacked to bits. So that's Neptune, huh? Looks nice. Actually, it looks amazing. A rapture. I wouldn't mind spending some time there myself. But I can't even imagine what's going on there right now. Comrade Sechenov asked you to return to Chelemen. How will you explain this delay? We can deal with that. Let's talk to the doc first. But if she tries to take off again, she's gonna regret it. I'm sick of playing Kevin Mills with her. Is the doc... Uh, what's his name's girlfriend that didn't want to help him once she found out that he was the one well, that overread the robots to make them attack everybody? Oh, it is her. Right there she is. What are we doing here? What do you want? Just hear me out, P3. Let me try to give you a different perspective, and then you can decide how to handle things. Do you know how Sechenov is planning to use Collective? What he's going to do with it? After Collective launches, people will be able to control robots with their minds, and they won't be able to stab each other in the back anymore. Sounds nice. I used to think that way too, but that's not how things really are. Collective isn't just about controlling robots. Sechenov will be able to control everyone who's a part of Collective. Collective is diabolical, Nyechaev. It's even worse than slavery. Bullshit. It's just the same old chain of command, but on a virtual network. What's so awful about that? Come on, see for yourself. I've got questions. Where are we? This is the Academy of Consequences, the facility's memory, analytic center, and primary archive. The activities of all the other complexes are studied here in order to draw conclusions and generate probability matrices. Get to the point. The Academy has a number of interesting departments. For example, there's the Radio of the Future. By mathematically combining shortwave and quantum echoes, we can predict the music people will be listening to 50 or even 80 years into the future. But there's another very special department here called Polymerized Subject Behavioral Psychology. They're supposed to be volunteers, but... Get to the point. And no more grenades or other bullshit. Any funny business at all and I'll kill you. This is your last warning. Sure, fine. Come on, I won't waste your time. 
Okay, lead on. I thought she was going to tell me more about it this time we get to the point, but it says she go show us around, I guess. Well, are you ready? Disable polarization. Whoa. What the fuck is this place? A haunted house or something? It's a tomb of the mind. The volunteers who lay the foundation for Collective. The first few groups of subjects all died. Group 30 went insane. Group 73 killed themselves. Group 101 killed each other. Group 204 was the most successful. They all survived. Their consciousness is now in an imaginary world. We call it Limbo. And their bodies are here, under my complete control. Want me to make them do something? Why? To show that I'm not lying. Whatever. Line them up. Keep going. Uh, the fat guy. Tell him to jump. He could use Just it. Just him? Why don't I make them all jump? After all, we all live in a communist society. Goddamn you, jump! This is insane. Why do you people even do this shit? Fuck. Poor bastards. No, that's where you're wrong. Chemically speaking, they're all perfectly happy. That's what Collective is all about. The entire world will be just like Why this. would Sechenov want to turn everyone into a bunch of idiots? Was he trying to make fun of the world by making people run around naked and act like animals? <laughs> no. We were able to prevent the degradation of individual consciousness. Memories, behavior, speech patterns are all preserved. But there's one thing they won't be able to avoid. The complete loss of their free will. We gotta stop this. Stop this? That's what Victor was trying to do. You got in his way, and now it's too late. Your boyfriend lost his mind and killed people. He tried to tell me Sechenov taught the robots to kill during the design phase. Why would Boss do that? Why? <laughs> Why did he design Collective to be a mind control system? Why does he need those special neuro controllers? Sechenov wants to enslave the entire world. I'm sorry, but if you don't understand that, you're an idiot. would never do that. He would, and he will, on Monday. All this is really hard to swallow. But I'll help you. Whatever you're planning, I'm in. <laughs> you're willing to turn on Sechenov? After what you just showed me? Yeah. I want to hear what he's got to say. P1, P2, P3. Your mind is never free. Is she in my head as well? A man can be repaired. What? What was that? What's what? Nothing. I'm just... Digesting what I saw. Why did you help me? Perhaps because I care. And besides, it's not about you. Well, not only you. If you worked here, then why didn't you try to stop this? I thought it was for the best. I thought it was for the good of the entire Soviet Union. But when I realized what was really going on... I had to bide my time, wait for the right moment. Victor and I risked everything and... Uh, you know the rest. Fine, moving on. 
The test subject is not leaving limbo. Inject neurotransmitters now. Uh, hey, Major. I'm fine. My head's been killing me lately. I've been seeing things. This is one hell of a job, let me tell you. It won't hurt, soldier. You won't even remember a thing. Hallucinations are serious business. Well, I am a neurosurgeon. I can probably help, if everything ends well. No thanks. A little vacation will fix me right up. I mean, if this all ends well. Hmm. Fine. Listen, about Victor, I, uh... What? Did you have no choice? You couldn't have acted differently? Will you now tell me that you're sorry? What? I am sorry. Well, I'm not. I should be, but... Victor... No other outcome was possible. It... It wasn't even quite him at that point. I don't want to talk about it. I just don't feel comfortable around these people. Huh, well, just you wait. Soon this is gonna happen all over the Soviet Union, and later the whole world. Then you'll see all people stripped of their free will. You know, free will doesn't guarantee that a person won't be a scumbag. What? Are you justifying atrocities? Atrocities? What atrocities? If they're volunteers, coming here was their choice. It's got nothing to do with me. You're a monster! Affirmative. That's enough. I'm too busy to chat right now. Very well. Enjoy the view. That's why I just seen that little blob thing go by the window there we see in our dream. Ooh, chest. Oh man, look at all those. Oh, I can't hardly see crap either. Supply of things. Heck, we might be able to max everything out by the time we get to the end of the game since we've done uh, all the testing sites. Oh, yeah, in the elevator earlier, I got an achievement for completing all the testing sites. I can't switch out my weapons and stuff. Well, poo. Resist, my darling. Resist. What that sick oh, robot? Fuck. I'm so sick of these goddamn hallucinations. Do you see colorful spots before your eyes? Does your perception of the world change? Yeah. Exactly. Do you know what this shit is? You were crossing into limbo, but it can't be stopped. How did you interrupt it? I don't know. It's like that lump of polymer is calling out to me. A big, teardrop-shaped one. Right there, straight above us. Do you see it? There's nothing there. What do you mean? I'm looking right at it. Oh crap, now it's gone. It's a hallucinatory reaction. A side effect of the surgery you underwent. The reaction of a damaged brain to the presence of a neuropolymer implant. What are you even talking about? What implant? <sighs> Did Sechenov not tell you? So you don't know what's happening to you? Charles, do you know what's happening with my head? I am not detecting any internal changes, Major. But your Voshot polymer extension is clearly receiving an unidentified stream of external data. What's that interface? Who are you talking to? It's a chatting artificial librarian, an AI in my polymer glove. Doesn't matter. Charles, what are you talking about? Charles? 
Wait, Charles, what data? What Voshod Polymer Extension? The Voshod Polymer Extension was developed using data from experiments conducted by Dmitri and myself. What? Yourself? And why are you calling Dr. Sechenov Dmitri? Who are you? Comrade Major, this will be difficult to explain. I am... Charles! Why the fuck are you all staticky? What the hell is going on? Keep it together, Major. If what I'm thinking is true, I should be able to access the Archive right now. There will be records about you. Hmm, that's getting really interesting. State your name and personal access code. Crispy Critters. Invalid name. Fine, I'll hack in. Not so fast. Name Charidan Zaharov. Code Fluffy. Code accepted. Access granted. Charles, are you there? Nothing. Nothing. So, what is Charles then? Long story short, your Charles is Professor Chariton Zaharov. Huh, that was short. So how could he be Zaharov? Professor Zaharov was developing the collective subsystems and worked on the module. The one you have inside you. They told us he ran a number of experiments on himself. The result was disastrous and unpredictable. On himself? Was he an idiot or something? Oh, he certainly wasn't an idiot. Zaharov was a misanthrope obsessed with science. I don't think he cared about what happened to his body all that much. So when did you realize that Charles is Zaharov? Just about right now, when he went offline. I had no idea Sechenov had stashed his consciousness into your glove. It was the abbreviation Charles that tipped me off. So Charles isn't a person anymore. Just... a device. I don't know. I guess he is. Except this device is based on the logical paradigm and experience of one of the brightest Soviet geniuses. So why does Sechenov want him? Because Sechenov never dismisses what he can use. It's easier for him to change everything to fit his needs. I guess you noticed this already. What's funny is that you seem to have made friends with your glove. Well, we've been through a lot. I've got feelings, you know, being alive and all. So does he. Dead. How can you talk about this so calmly? To me, Chariton Radionovich died a long time ago. I'm done mourning him. And besides, I'm a scientist. We're more impassionate towards death than to muddling one's brains. So, how do we get in? Only a small bunch of people have permanent access to the Archive. Sechenov, Lebedev, the director of the Academy, and Zaharov. Like you reminded me. Fluffy, huh? <laughs> so what would we have done if the password hadn't worked? I'm sure you would have smashed the door with your bare fists. But now Archivist thinks I am Dr. Zaharov, so we got lucky. And now we can learn everything about you. Let's go. Welcome, Chariton Zaharov. What is the subject of your query today? Agent P3, personal file. Your search returned 42 audio records. So, which one do you want first? C I couldn't care less. Then pick one at random. Try this one. Commencing playback. The events in Bulgaria left the agents badly injured. Technically speaking, they were clinically dead. Agent Blesna could not be saved. Since Agent Plutonium's condition was less severe, it was possible to return him to combat readiness. However, his nearly destroyed limbs had to be amputated and replaced with the latest prostheses. Yeah, I already know half my body's prosthetic. What else is new? These are just general observations. Find another recording.
Okay, play this one. Commencing playback. Following his recovery, the agent's personality was altered significantly, including his behavioral and speech patterns. Because of this, I made the decision to remove the agent from the Argentum unit. In order to prevent any possibility of memory recidivism, Plutonium received a new call sign, P3, and is now under my direct command and observation. P3's contact with Argentum has been kept to a minimum, and Argentum personnel have been warned against mentioning the call sign Blesna in P3's presence. Crispy. I'll get another one. What? Sechenov has you on a leash. He does whatever he wants with you. Listen, Doc, he saved my life. Do you think I don't know I'm a test subject? That's my job. So you're a volunteer, huh? Then why are you such a disobedient test subject? Because before they always told me what they were doing. I'll go get another recording. Let's give this one a spin. Procedure. Implant the Voskhod Neuropolymer Brain Function Extension. Objective. Total elimination of destructive impulses triggered by traumatic memories. Patient, Major Sergei Nechayev. Codename, Plutonium. Attempt number three. The first two operations were unsuccessful. The patient suffered a severe brain injury in Bulgaria, which could not be repaired. The damage is of such severity that the patient will likely have to be euthanized. Did you hear that? He wanted to kill you. The frontal lobes are partially destroyed, causing the patient to experience bouts of uncontrollable rage. The patient's steel prostheses render him dangerous to those around him. And that's about your seizures. Due to the incidence of temporary insanity, the patient is immersed in a surreal psychedelic reality that prevents him from accepting the consequences of his aggressive behavior. Uh, I don't get it. Can you translate for me? You're not gonna like it. The patient experiences intense hallucinations. Did you see your wife again, my boy? How? How did you know that? Yet a Voskhod implant will give the patient artificial memories and allow him to overcome his obsession with his deceased wife. Your wife? It's all bullshit. I've never been married. With Voskhod, we can send the agent's consciousness into the imaginary world of limbo via a pulse aimed directly at his pituitary gland, switching the Major into combat mode on command. I'd like to add that I am strongly opposed. What a load of crap. I mean, there's no fucking way. I'm afraid there is. Sachinov can send your mind to your own private paradise with the push of a button. And my body? Your body will kill whoever he tells it to. That was right. He did kill Fucking the doctor bullshit. or the senator and everyone. The hallucinations never. are they also such enough? No, the hallucinations are just your brain's defense mechanism. <sighs> Why the hell should I believe any of this? The boss would never do this to me. Yeah, right. Just like he'd never wipe your wife's existence from your memory. Just like he'd never designed Collective to be a mind control system. Who said Sechenov did any of that stuff? You can't even tell who's in that chair. If you don't believe me, go ask him. What's the plan, Major? He's waiting for us at Chelome. If we want to stop Sechenov, we'll have to string him along. So you bring me there as your captive? And then what? And then we play it by ear. So that's how it is, Major. Think it over while I try to hack this elevator and get us back to the surface. Uh-huh. Paying attention now, dickbag? Major, I, I have no data about this incident. Trying to make a monkey out of me, are you? Well, join the club. Don't have any data, huh? You've always known about all this. There's a reason you're called Char-less, right? You're Char-a-ton. 
Zaharov, you son of a bitch. Got an explanation? Huh? There's nothing to explain, Major. You're just as much a Charles to me as I am a perfect stranger to you. First, Sechenov murdered me. Then he turned me into a blob of polymer goo. Then he brainwashed you and manipulated you. How could I trust either of you? That's why I pretended to be the chatting artificial librarian. I wanted to see who was who. Yeah, well... I guess I would have done the same. So what are we gonna do now, huh? What else can we do, Sergei? You and I are friends now, and we know the truth. We need to get to Sechenov, rectify this injustice, and get revenge for what he's done to us. I guess you're right, Chariton. Justice does need to be done. You're a good man, Comrade Major. I hate to say this, but you're the first functional example of an ordinary link in the Collective Network. On Monday, everyone who has undergone polymerization will become just as malleable as you. Shit, I can't let that happen. Listen, the fucking gadget, the thought device, you can just take it off. Unfortunately, that won't help anyone. It just makes things worse. How come? <laughs> because all your thoughts are useless. A polymerized person's signal will be transmitted to robots and other equipment via their thought controller. But it is not what makes them a part of Collective. The thought device can be removed, but this merely prevents the wearer from being able to make calls and give orders to machines. So how is Sechenov going to keep everybody under control? It's the neuropolymer injection that makes people part of Collective. It embeds itself in the brain and connects it to the neural network once and for all. The effect of this injection cannot be undone. Everyone who gets an injection will be part of Collective forever. But I... Was I really married? What was my wife's name? Ekaterina. And... You aren't going to like what I'm about to tell you, Comrade Major. I've heard that before, but I doubt anything could surprise me now. You and your wife served with the Argentum unit. Ekaterina, or Katya as you called her, was a highly qualified agent. As a child, she studied ballet and made significant achievements in both dance and martial arts. Ballet and martial arts? Are you trying to tell me the boss is metal twins? No way. This is total BS. The boss would never do something like that. Just look at me, Comrade Major. After I died, my consciousness was transplanted into this glove. After your wife died, her consciousness could not be saved. But Sechenov uploaded an imprint of her professional skills into his bodyguard's matrices. Damn. This is... Holy shit. Fuck me, this can't be a... We've got a ride, Major. We can get out of here. His... <clears throat> His boss dude is really messed up. Can we go, Major? Okay, let's go. Hey, achievement. A sexy fun time in the elevator. I'm really sorry you had to go through all this. Ah, oh, shit! Oh, here we go again. No, not now, not here. Oh, you poor lady. All right, well we're going ahead and end the video there. I have to get ready for work, but uh, sorry for being quiet so much during all that talking and everything. I just, you know, didn't want to skip it or. Over talk any of it. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and stuck around and watched. But uh we'll go ahead and end it here and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Toodaloo! <laughs>